Eliminating variables and maintaining aggregate moisture by following these best practices will improve quality and productivity. Aggregates make up approximately 75% of a concrete mix. Therefore, aggregate conditioning is critical to managing the variables of producing consistent concrete. It is best practice to maintain SSD, or surface saturated dry, in aggregate moisture before being used in the batching process. This includes bin and ground storage locations. Best practice is to size aggregate bins to hold a minimum of one day production of conditioned aggregates maintained at just above SSD condition. Install moisture probes below the aggregate discharge gates to automatically compensate for moisture variance from batch to batch. Plant operator and QC personnel should be trained in checking probe calibration and calibrate the probes if necessary. Store aggregates separated under a roof enclosure to control moisture, temperature, and avoid contamination. Keep the bins full, do not let them run empty. Aggregate bins should be protected from the elements to minimize fluctuations in surface moisture and stored so that excess moisture can drain freely. In extreme climates, batch water can be cooled or heated to help control concrete temperature. If aggregate bins need to be recharged frequently by front-end loader, the common practice is to use ground storage bunkers to inventory adequate stock of aggregates. Train personnel in observing aggregate truck deliveries for excess water. Have adequate divider walls between the piles to prevent cross-contamination. Store aggregates on a concrete slab slightly sloped to the front of the pile to permit water drainage away from the pile. Cover aggregates with a roof structure so stockpiles are protected from the rain and sun, especially in hot climates. Intermittently sprinkle aggregate stockpiles if needed to maintain the aggregate pile at SSD condition. For example, start with 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, prior to batching. Adjust as required to maintain SSD. Be careful not to oversprinkle the piles, which can wash fines to the bottom of the stockpile. Additionally, sprinkling aggregate piles can promote evaporative cooling of the aggregate. In hot climates, if fresh concrete temperature exceeds 90 degrees Fahrenheit, there is a risk that the concrete strength and durability may be compromised. Chilled water can be used to sprinkle aggregate piles to further manage concrete temperature. Have a loader operator training plan. Personnel should be trained in re-blending or turning the piles. Turn the piles two times a day and prior to loading a bin. For charging bins, don't scoop off the bottom of the pile. Instead, lift the bucket approximately 12 inches from the bottom of the pile when scooping a bucket to be charged into the bins. Do not run the loader on top of the stockpiles. In conclusion, eliminating variables is the most efficient path to producing consistent, quality concrete. The automatic and real-time hydro tester and hydromat moisture management technology offers a precast concrete producer peace of mind knowing that the actual mix design moisture content is being accurately and reliably compensated for. These moisture management systems increase concrete plant quality, consistency, efficiency, and productivity, which in turn benefits the product consumer. Properly conditioned aggregates improve concrete quality and consistency for reduced labor and less waste. Refer to your applicable Association QC manual for additional information and best practices.